Okay. Uh, uh, officially, let me welcome you all again for the today's session. So, before I start with, so can anyone of you respond? So, my PPTs, PPTs are visible, right? PPTs are visible, and also, am I am I audible? Okay, fine. Uh, till the last sessions, uh, we saw about the three uh, features. So, those we saw the three uh, machine independent macro features, which are concatenation of macro parameters. A generation of unique labels, conditional macro expansion. These are the three features we saw. If any, if at all, if any one of you missed those, you can also get it from the YouTube uh, in my channel. So I had uh, discussed about these three points in the last sessions. So now let us take up the next session, which is the keyword macro parameter. So regarding this keyword macro parameter, we already saw about this in the previous sessions. Whereas now let us see this these macro parameters in the different way by using the keywords. Let us see the key macro parameters in the different way by using this keywords. That's what keyword macro parameter, which is the next machine independent macro features. Here, before you go with the actual keyword parameter, first let us see the positional parameters. First, let us see the positional parameter. So in this positional parameter, you can observe in the in the positional parameter. <clears throat> yeah, in the in the positional parameter. Just a minute. Yeah, you can see these positional parameters right here. You can see what I mean to say positional parameter in the sense. These are the parameters which are declared at the time of macro declaration. I can say that macro uh, definition, whereas this is where you are calling that macro by passing the arguments. You are calling this macro by the name or with the name by passing the specific arguments. When you pass those arguments, these are what the arguments, these are the parameters. Remember, these are the parameters and these are the arguments. So parameters at the time of declaration and arguments at the time of invocation, which will be substituted with based on the respective position. What I mean to say position. So remember, string one will be the value for the in string itself, not for the out string or not for the string length. So what I mean to say, first argument will be the value for the first parameter. Second argument will be the value for the second argument. Third argument will be the value for the third parameter. They are not replaced. They are not interchanged. Remember, that is what I mean to say. It is positional parameters. So only the definition says that parameters and the arguments are associated with each other according to what positions according to the positions with respect to the both macro prototype and macro invocation. In my example, this is the macro prototype which is declaring the macro at the time of declaring the macro. You will not be I repeat at the time of declaring you, you will be specifying the parameters and the same or a specific values or specific positions itself you do uh, consider for the macro invocation or the passing the passing the arguments as well you can see here this in this example string one will be the value for the in string string two will be the value for the out string four is the value for the string length the same way when you call the same macro here at the different invocation different arguments here these are the different arguments whereas the positions remain same string 3 will be the value for the in string string 4 will be the value for the out string and 10 will be the value for the string length that is what we record as positional parameters whereas what if i repeat this what if if you don't have uh, like if you if you are uh, dealing with the null arguments what i mean to say null arguments in the sense this also we saw in the example in the previous session so this is what the example if you can observe at the time of passing the values for the five parameters you may be passing only four arguments when you pass only four arguments then such kind of the empty argument the argument which doesn't have the value for the parameter such kind of arguments are considered as null arguments. So how to represent those null arguments? It is like this. Just uh, two consecutive commas with the just a space. It's just like empty. This is empty with, which doesn't have the specific argument. So that is what this is the example of null arguments. 
and this is the example of your positional parameters am i audible and am i is it clear the very simple topic simple concept can anyone respond is it clear with the positional parameters and the null arguments yes sir so this is what the concept of you i said it is positional parameters now let us take up the actual keyword parameter what is this meaning of, what is the meaning of the keyword parameter it is the argument value whatever it is whatever you are going to pass that will be passed with the specific keyword what i mean to say in the sense in the in this example remember in this example itself if you take up again these are i repeat again these are called as the parameters these are called as the arguments so inbuiltly or inherently it is something like string 1 will be the value for the in string string 2 will be the value for the out string and 4 is the value for the string length i said so you can also make use of keyword arguments as such in string is equal to string 1 out string is equal to string 2 and string length is equal to 4 like that you can also specify like this in the form of parameter is equal to argument you can also specify in this in this in this order as parameter is equal to argument so why why does this keyword macro parameters came into the picture in the sense remember at the time of prototyping or at the time of declaring so the programmer might have declared too many parameters maybe somewhere like 10 or 15 but you are, it is expected to give the arguments in the same order when you consider only the positional parameters you are expected to give in the same order what i am what i am trying to tell you in the sense in this example itself if you take up the three parameters are what in string out string and string length but at the time of invocation you supposed to give us string 1 string 2 and 4 itself you can't give us string 1 4 then string 2 or you can't give us 4 string 2 and string 1 like that you cannot pass the arguments in the different order when you don't when you don't when you make use of this positional parameters or when you consider this positional parameters you can't provide in the different positions it the arguments must be provided with the order whereas when you make use of this keyword macro parameters you don't have to provide in the in the order you don't have to provide in the order so whereas how to provide how to provide so here in, if you take up i can say it as i can say it as move followed by here i can i can use it as string length is equal to 4 comma in string is equal to string 1 comma out string is equal to string 2 is possible so in that case when you are specifying the parameter name also here you don't have to maintain the position you don't have to maintain the order when you make use of these kind of keyword macro parameter how to use them this is the syntax parameter is equal to argument so parameter is equal to what is the value which you are passing in the form of argument value so this is the syntax of using the keyword macro parameters now let us take up an example this is what an example in this example this is what an example this is the macro prototyping or macro declaration here is the keyword which is the beginning of macro and this is the end of the macro Uh, macro definition and this is the name of the macro which is read buff and in with that you are declaring the five parameters one is the indiv one is the indiv again second is buffer address third is what record length fourth is what ur and again you have the max length you can observe this every parameter is preceded with the and whereas in this example you can observe clearly you declared the values you made the a default values for the three parameters which is indiv is equal to f1 you made it again ur is equal to 04 max length is equal to 4096 in this example you made the values for the indiv ur and the max length as a default values whereas you didn't specify at the time of declaration or that at the time of a macro definition or at the time of macro declaration you didn't specify the value for the buffer address and the record length but we you specified the values or you initialize the values for the indiv ur and the max length now at the time when you call this at the time when you invoke that read buffer understand this clearly 
at the time when you invoke that read buffer it is enough if you pass the value for the buffer address and the record length so what is the value for the buffer address it is the buffer what is the value for the record length it is the length it is enough if you pass this buffer and the length whereas values for the other three parameters which are already predefined already predefined are already defined as a default values individual equal to f1 you are as 04 and max length as 4096 now if you pass the value for the buffer address and the record length that is nf what i mean to say in this example also if you take up in this example also if you take up if the in string let's assume let's assume that in string is equal to some string as revam out string is equal to buffer whereas string length you may not be specifying so that you if you pass only that value is enough you don't have to pass everything when when you define like this as a default values so so by using this keyword arguments or by using this keyword macro parameter where you there is a possibility where you can also skip the values skip the argument values by declaring it as a, a default values for the parameters that's the one of the example here you can observe what if you may get the question something like i said that indiv is equal to f1 ur is equal to 04 max length as 4096 i said them as a default values but i didn't say them as a constant values what i mean to say per suppose if you don't pass the values for the indiv and the ur and the max length at the time of invocation then these values will be considered as it is but if you pass something like i don't want the max length to be 4096 i want i want to pass the value as only 1024 you pass it that value will be replaced with this default value as an example here you can observe record length you, you see in this i am trying to demonstrate in the uh, different two different aspects that i am not maintaining the order that i want you to observe clearly see record length it supposed to be third argument third parameter but from here i am passing it as a first argument it is possible because i am using the name name of the parameter as i am using the name of the parameter it is okay if you even if you interchange the position it will it is not an error it is that it is not a problem because i am uh, using the a uh, keywords or in the other way i can say it as name of the parameters so you can see this record length i am using it as a first argument but as of your declaration it's, it is what third parameter then in div it is f1 in input device it is default it is f1 but here if you observe i am changing it to the f3 it is possible that f3 will be it will be overridden overwritten on the f1 it is possible again if you observe buffer is the second parameter but here also yeah it is also second parameter then ur is the fourth one but in my example ur is the third in third argument you are passing again at the time of declaration individual input device is the first parameter but at the time of calling you are i am using it as a fourth argument so here what i am trying to demonstrate in the sense the position of the arguments need not to be constant the position of the order or the position or the order of the arguments what the programmer has to pass the programmer need not to remember the order the programmer need not to bother about the order even if they want to skip few values like this you want to pass only two fine whereas others other values are defined as constant not the constant default so in such case you can also skip the argument values you can also interchange the argument positions is possible you can also interchange the argument position and also you can also pass the specific values by yourself those values will be overwritten on the default values all this can be happen by when you make use of this keyword macro parameters that is what an easy thing which you compare to the positional parameters because when you want to bother about the positional parameters remember if at all if you are using five arguments you must and should pass five arguments and all those five arguments must be in order even if you want to skip any then you have to skip like this you have to skip like this but you have to they have to be in the Order. If they are not in the order, those cannot be considered as a, a va parameter values when you make use of positional position based. Instead of that, if you make use based on the keyword, then you may skip the you may skip the values for any argument. 
you can also interchange the position or the order can be anything it is uh, so yeah, the macro processor considers in a, a normal way that is what keyword macro parameters did you understand guys did you understand any doubts no sir so if you guys doesn't have the doubts so this is the fourth fourth feature of the uh, macro processor fourth independent feature of the macro processor that's what we saw today so keyword macro parameter 